स्वामी नरसिंह सरस्वती गे गुरु मूर्ति गे यति वैराग्य मंगल तारी पगम फल तृप्ति गे मंगल स्वामी नरसिंह सरस्वती गे निरूपम नित्य निरमाया गे मंगल निरूपम नित्य निरमाया गे मंगल Om Sai Ram everyone Today we are taking you to Odambar We have seen Krishna river earlier Now this temple we are seeing here Is that of Swami Narsimha Saraswati On the banks of Krishna river Swami Narsimha Saraswati as we know Is the second in the Datta Parampara he actually did his Chaturmasya Vratta here, the fasting he did here. The Chaturmasya uh, period actually begins in the month of Ashadha, which is from June to July and ends in the month of Kartika, which is October to November. Now Chaturmasya is a period of uh, four months during the rainy season. After completing these four months, when he was leaving the place, people actually requested him to stay. Then he said that my work is not complete and my mission will be going on from other places. I will leave my padukas here. They will be my representative and you can worship them and feel my presence here. So after saying this, Swami actually left uh, the padukas here. And he left the place. In addition, there are several Odamba trees or fig trees around this place. What you are seeing now here is an Odamba tree. Uh, this place is called Odamba Chetra. Chetra means area. This is an important Chetra for uh, Datta Bhaktas or the devotees and uh, Sai Baba Bhaktas also, I would say. We are now at the banks of the Krishna River. After bathing in the river, we are now on our way to worship the Padukas and do the uh, do the Pradakshina of the temple as well. Now, there are so many Odamba trees here. An Odamba tree is very, very sacred and it signifies the uh, presence of Lord Dattatreya himself. Um, Dattatreya uh, is said to, uh, you know, live in the roots of the Odamba tree. Datta said uh, that, uh, wherever there is an Odamba tree, I am present there. So this, uh, the you know, the significance of uh, the presence of Odamba tree itself is the presence of uh, Datta Treya. Br uh, Brahmananda Swami, a Datta Bhakta of Girinar, uh, identified this place. As you now know that Girinar is the place where Lord Datta rests. And Brahmananda Swami gets a vision and Lord Datta tells him, there is a place called Odambar. There are so many Odambar trees there and I am in their root always. Now go there. So after that, Brahmananda Swami came here. Some people think Brahmananda Swami of Girinar came here before uh, Swami Narsimha Saraswati. Uh, 
while other thing that he came here in 1820s after swami narsimha saraswati uh as mentioned before uh, swami narsimha saraswati came here for chaturmasya vrata chaturmasya fasting is uh, during the four months of chaturmasya staying in a single place and performing worship and austerities as mentioned in scriptures this is the process of uh, you know how uh, he used to do fasting here during chaturmasya people in the place uh, come to know about swami narsimha saraswati and that he is the second in the datta parampara the place is very very holy and very divine there are several odamba trees here even one odamba tree is special there are five odamba trees inside the temple itself outside the temple there are three trees on one side three on the other in general there are several odamba trees inside the temple and outside so it's a it's a, a feeling of happiness after seeing so many odamba trees and we are really very happy to be here and it's such a sacred and divine place because the presence of the odamba trees is the presence of dattatreya himself So why are we who are baba devotees talking about swami narsimha saraswati now let's come to that and lord dattatreya now baba is an avatar of dattatreya if we see the lineage of lord dattatreya or datta parampara the first one is shri pada shri vallabha second is swami narsimha saraswati the third is manik prabhu maharaj the fourth one is swami samarth akkal kot maharaj and the fifth one is our own sachidanand sadguru shri sai baba so we are in the datta uh, uh, lineage and uh, we have uh, you know we have the gurus and um, now we are uh, our sai baba is the fifth in the lineage and we are following him deepak also mentioned uh, here that when i mentally accepted datta is baba and baba is datta then my spiritual journey changed and improved he specified here Uh, here are the padukas of narsimha saraswati we can see the padukas from 7 am to 8 am at 7 am they do uh, the rudra abhishek to the padukas after abhishek a flower decoration or alankara is performed at 8 am and swami's murti is kept over them so we can't see the padukas after 8 am if you want to take darshan of the padukas come at 6 am instead Uh, Deepak also mentioned that he is feeling very very happy. Many people do not know about Lord Datta Treya. We come in Datta way and uh, worship Datta, and Baba is none other than Datta Treya. He is the he is our Datta Treya only. So many people do not understand this. Um, Deepak also mentioned that he was not interested in any god, and when he started his spiritual journey. he was thinking only about sai baba and was not interested in going to any other temple he then realized that baba is datta and datta is baba and his spiritual journey considerably changed and improved by baba's grace so now we are heading to the other bank we are going to the bhuvneshwari ma temple in a boat the temple is about 1000 years old There is a story in Guru Charita about this place. The story is in chapter seventeen. A Brahmin couple have a boy, and he is not able to learn Vedas and not able to pronounce mantras. Also, people make fun of fun of him, saying that your father was very learned in Vedas and Shastras, and you are a uh, dull boy. Dejected, he actually, uh, you know, swam across the other banks. across the river and goes to bhuvneshwari ma temple he actually prayed there for 3 days he stayed there and prayed not getting a response he actually cuts his tongue and offers it to devi devi then appeared and said that there is a swami narsimha narsimha saraswati is on the other bank and he will shower his blessings on you and show you the way the boy swam across the other bank and prostrated at the feet of swami narsimha saraswati swami blessed him the boy gets his tongue back and he became a scholar over a period of time because of guru's blessings 
this is the temple mentioned in guru charita uh, deepak also mentioned that he is feeling very happy in this temple uh, there is a story behind this video so when uh, deepak said that when i came here I, i recorded video in this temple also when i was leaving i had a feeling a sort of um a baba's voice uh, which said check the video when i checked all the other videos were intact the video of boat and that of temple were missing so i went back to the temple to record video so when uh, when i went back a lady there asked you were here 7 days back isn't it i was surprised as it was my first visit and told her so uh, she said i was here a week back people usually take darshan of devi from outside near the um temple she then asked uh, are you wearing a belt when i said no she asked me to go inside and make me sit in garbagraha i was speechless and i was thankful to baba datta and bhuvneshwari ma for the experience there are other sannidhis like one for shiva in the temple such a beautiful uh, experience Uh, Deepak had here. Deepak also mentioned that uh, he has never lost videos before, any time. And here two videos were missing. And when he went inside to record videos again, the lady asked him to sit inside Garbagraha, and he felt very satisfied and contented there. I'm sure that uh, that would be a divine place, you know, to be. and he actually felt that he checked the videos on time and he didn't need to go to the other side of the bank otherwise uh, it would have been little difficult for him so uh, what you see here opposite to the temple is a temple of kala bhairava now we are going there kala bhairava is facing bhuvneshwari ma there this is actually also in a very ancient temple and this is this might be around 100 years old Guru Charita Parayan people or the people who read Guru Charita would definitely know about this temple and story. This is a very very sacred place, Dadambar Chhetra. I request all Sai Baba devotees and Dattatreya devotees to please come here and visit this temple. Uh, the divinity is um, unmatched. The presence of Dadambar tree is the presence of Datta himself. and very very sacred place and the energy also is very very good please do visit and um, take uh, blessings of dattatreya and uh, swami Nars- uh, narsimha saraswati thank you for watching the video and uh, we'll share more and more information on the uh, in the next video and uh, those who want to read more about narsimha saraswati they can find on the web or they can read the guru charita also Om Sai Ram everyone thank you so much Om Sai Ram